I'm Carl Malone, doctor of bioenergetic and also doctor of natural medicine. I teach low-level laser therapy to practitioners and also teach self-care how to use your own laser at home to get great results. Today I want to share with you my presentation on self-care using low-level laser. I've done this presentation many times to help build my practice but also to teach practitioners how to present laser to their clients and perhaps help their clients get their own laser to use at home. Using your own laser can be very effective in helping pain, inflammation, various conditions, and I'll address those here today. So to start with, you can contact me at ask at docmalone.com. And this information is strictly for information. This is not meant to diagnose or treat any condition. It's certainly no cure. And it's not intended to be any kind of substitute for medical care. So please consult your doctor for any and all medical advice. The laser was first FDA cleared in the United States for pain and inflammation. So it's a great um, tool to help calm pain and increase circulation, help flush out areas. It causes vasodilation down to the capillary level to help with relieving inflammation, bringing fresh blood and nutrients and oxygen to a region. A lot of people are suffering from chronic disease and it seems to be really increasing in our society and more people are suffering from heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, and arthritis. We have that in record numbers today. And the causes tend to come from poor diet, lifestyle, living in a toxic environment. So these result in damage to the body. And in life, we're always dealing with degeneration and inflammation. So these result in stress. And stress is the number one killer when you consider that it contributes to heart disease, strokes, high blood pressure, depression, migraines, diabetes hardening of the arteries, insomnia, fatigue, allergies, kidney disorders, breathing problems. These all contribute to stress in our body. A lot of people have chronic headache and people don't realize that this causes a lot of missed work. 65 million lost work days every year from headaches much of which can be prevented and low-level low laser is a great tool to help calm that pain. So pain and inflammation, anything itis is inflammation, arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis. So what are our options when we're dealing with pain and inflammation? We can go to regular health care but a lot of people are losing their coverage um, recently. And the soaring costs of healthcare often prevent people from going to a doctor or getting things checked or following through with um, expensive programs. So this is a, another great option to use the low-level laser yourself and at home because our other options are drugs and surgeries. Um, many people are disappointed with the healthcare system and looking for other options. And people are experiencing a high level of stress and frustration so self-care is a great option this gives you a chance to take charge of your own health you know many conditions can be relieved and helped with low-level laser as mentioned pain inflammation circulation calming and soothing the body healing wounds injuries post-surgically laser is a great tool veterinarians have been using it for decades it's really great for acute and chronic problems. So you just sprained your ankle or you have an old injury that continues to, to bother you. So red light laser came about when scientists measured the wavelength, the frequency of human cells. And cells in people and in animals have a wavelength of about 635 nanometers. So when you measure the distance between the peaks of vibration, that distance is 635 nanometers. Then scientists measured the effects of that wavelength on various tissue and discovered that there are different pulses or frequency rates 
to deliver that for optimum health, depending on which tissue in the body you're working on. Subsequently, lasers came out that were programmed or could be programmed with the various frequencies that are out there. It really helps with wound healing. In FDA clinical trials, low-level laser was proven to cut healing time by 35 to 40 percent on average. So you have some people, like great athletes, that heal in record time, and then you have other people that maybe heal, you know, 20 percent faster. But the result tends to be less scar tissue when it heals faster, decreases pain, gets you back to your activities of daily living or work much sooner. What they discovered is when the light from the laser, the energy of the photon, gets donated into the cell or delivered into the cell, there's a photochemical exchange that actually transfers energy into the cell and resuscitates the cell. It would tend to cause a cell to open up a little pore or what we call an ion channel and dump out its toxins. This way the cell can receive fresh nutrients and oxygen if you're taking really great foods and supplements in, this helps deliver those to the cell. And it tends to resuscitate the mitochondria, which produces energy. It produces ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And it can resuscitate the cell to increase production of ATP, which when cells have enough energy, they tend to split and grow into new and healthy cells. So red light laser increases ATP production, which can help release binding sites for the massage therapist that finds those tight bands and trigger points. Using the low-level laser can help flush out the area, increase circulation, and where you have the actin and myosin binding sites, the laser helps to release, the laser helps deliver ATP to help release those binding sites. Tremendous when you're working on body work and you're trying to get an area to release. So it really helps when you're doing body work or massage therapy because these tissues that are locked and tight, it can help calm that signal that's causing that vasoconstriction, those tiny capillaries to stay constricted. It can decrease pain and like we mentioned, open up those tiny capillaries. So we have nerves in the body that tend to be either overstimulated or understimulated. Overstimulated could be delivering a pain signal or understimulated reducing function where somebody perhaps can't open a jar or they have difficulty starting their car. Perhaps they have numbness, tingling, even in some cases of you know, neuropathy and paralysis. The laser is an excellent tool to help restore or calm or improve that nerve signal. So overstimulated would indicate the pain signal being delivered to the same side cerebellum. So on each side of the body, we have over 50,000 nerve roots connected to the cerebellum. So we will often laser to the same side cerebellum to help calm that pain signal or increase that signal. Over, understimulated could be the person that can't start their car or have a hard time opening the, a jar. And low-level laser can again help to restore that function. Often I keep a jar in my treatment room and if they can't un open the jar, I'll test thoracic one nerve root and then restore that with the low-level laser, then hand them the jar and many times they'll be able to open that jar. So that method of, re of calming overstimulation or increasing understimulation is often called biomodulation. I've seen it called bioremodulation in some teachings. So who uses low-level laser? It's great for the ma massage therapist, for the naturopath, nurses, acupuncturists. Dentists have been using violet laser for decades. Actually, the dentist pioneered the use of violet laser because of how well it would help with dental conditions. Homeopaths were often use laser. It's been used heavily with pro teams and athletes. And in the veterinary world, low-level laser is very well known in the equine industry because it helps cut down some the healing time when horses are injured and they're out. They may not be able to get back and compete at that high level. So when we can cut that healing time down, get the athlete or the, the horse back in competition sooner, 
um, it's worth a lot of money to these pro teams and um, in competitive sports, competitive events. Also, chiropractors help pioneer low-level laser. If um, you want to learn my laser neuromuscular therapy techniques, if you ever want to work for a chiropractor or get in touch with chiropractors in your area, let them know that you're doing laser and you know how to do a nerve check and reset or upregulation of the nervous system. It's a huge plus for the chiropractor. It's great for um, physical therapy. And as mentioned, it's really great with equine and, and even folks get their own laser to use with themselves, their family, their pets. So using self-care with low level laser, many people get it because they have tendonitis, tendon problems, Achilles tendon, skin problems, joint strains. It's great for the athlete to keep in their bag. So when they get strains or they're trying to get that lactic acid moving through the body, the laser is a great tool for that. Anything joint related, shoulder pain, tennis elbow, tinnitus, ringing in the ears, um, TMJ disorder, myofascial pain. It's an excellent tool to help with any of those conditions. And I've seen remarkable results. I've been doing low level laser since 2002 and I've just seen incredible results and I have photographs and if anyone ever wants a private consultation, just get in touch with me at ask at docmalone.com. You'll see that again here at the end, but I'm happy to do online training and I'm releasing my basic and advanced videos. So if you want to actually learn how to use laser in your practice, these tools will be available to you. So it's very easy. When I teach how to use a low level laser, I teach put it on the ouch. You put it on the place that hurts. And when somebody's perhaps using the laser, they're watching TV and a commercial comes on TV, you might trace that laser up to the same side cerebellum. And then after the commercial, put it at the next spot. So you would saturate an area with the laser from perhaps multiple angles and really try to get that signal from multiple angles into the area that of, of injury or pain. So we don't use low level laser when someone has a pacemaker. Um, in the case of pregnancy, we would never put a laser over a blood clot. We don't use it directly in the eye. We wouldn't use it with a stroke victim or someone with a history of seizures. It's equivalent to the normal massage therapy contraindications. So getting your own laser at home, there is a 50% chance of getting chronic disease in our lifetime. This can save you money over over-the-counter remedies, um, which often only treat the symptoms. It's um, very convenient. You can use your laser at home at 11 o'clock at night if you're stiff and sore or five times a day if you've got a sprained ankle. So having your own laser at home will ultimately pay for itself if you pay the therapist to go enough times and you still have the laser to use with family, friends, it's really great for pain relief and really great for stress relief. My video on the unwind protocol shows how we could use a low level laser to calm points in the body which tend to unwind and relax and release tension and stress. So I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and I hope you'll share it with others. Feel free to contact me at ask at docmalone.com and my laser videos will be available at www lasernmt.com. That stands for laser neuromuscular therapy, a technique that I developed starting in 2002 and have used to treat literally thousands of clients and patients. So if you do insurance billing, if you do body work, if you do Reiki, if you do um, various types of energy and body work, the laser can be a great tool to integrate into your practice and I'm always happy, happy to help practitioners integrate laser into your own practice. So I hope you find this very helpful. Please contact me if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you and I hope you have a very great day.